Hello, I'd like to give a quick introduction to the Yaesu FT897D HF VHF UHS transceiver, uh, a real Swiss Army knife rig that does just about everything you can imagine. Like any rig, I like to start out knowing three main things, how to tune it, how to select the mode, and how to select the power. So for tuning, we have our band select button here, and notice it does just about every band you can imagine, 160, 75, 60, 40, 30, 20, uh, 17, 15, 12, 10, 6, uh, FM broadcast band, pretty cool, aircraft band, 2 meters and 70 centimeters, so it does just about everything you can imagine. Now for the modes, we go right here, we have mode selected here, we have lower side band, upper side band, CW, reverse CW, AM, FM, digital packet, and back to lower side band, so pretty cool. Now, that's how we select frequency, and of course, tune to the exact frequency that you want, uh, also, when you're tuning, if you want to tune and just say kilohertz, you can use this multi-purpose knob over here and notice how we can tune in kilohertz. Uh, let's see, what else can we do with this? Now we want to know how to select our power mode. So th this is one thing I really like that Yesu does. If we go into the main settings menu by depressing F here for about a second, we have about 91 different parameters that we can set. And the thing I like about the way they make this is it's all alphabetical. So say for example, here we are at display color, DISP. The next one is display contrast. The next one is display intensity. So let's say we want to make a different color. We can go to display color. And now we can play with the contrast. And now we can play with the intensity. So pretty cool stuff. Back here we have all sorts of CW functions. And so you get the idea. It's all alphabetical. Well, anyway, if we get up here to setting number, is it 75 or 80? Yeah, here's 75. RF power set. That's where we can set our power. And I'm just going to leave it, uh, say, at 50 watts. So, so that's how you get into those main settings. So, again, uh, we, have, we can select our band there, our mode there. And our power, we just go into the setting and look for RF power, and we can set that right there. Again, hold it for a second, and we're back uh, in normal operation. Now, what are some of these other buttons? Here we have a VFO to memory mode. If we had memories, we can just go to our memory mode. Uh, this is a home button to go to your favorite frequency. DSP activates this uh, shortcut here to your DSP functions. Uh, bandpass filter, uh, automatic notch filter digital noise, so on and so forth. And we already talked about mode and band. Uh, this is kind of cool. This is a clarifier. That's Yesu speak for RIT or receive incremental tune. You engage it by just selecting that button. See that little dash there? Now it's dedicated knob will take me up or down for RIT. Pretty cool. It also does another thing. It uh, does IF shift. So if I were to hold it down for a second, let me bring the volume up here. Now this works as an IF shift. Pretty cool. And then when we're centered, it's a it's a whole circle. And I'll take that off, and I'll just tap it to get off of RIT. So that's how that works. Here's AF level, RF level, sensitivity. Uh, there's a lock for the tuning knob, so it won't uh, go anywhere if I don't want it to. Up here are indicators for the internal batteries. You have two internal batteries if you have them installed, A and B, and they're selected by using the switch up here. And let's see, we talked about the function switch that takes us into the menus. Now, if you were just to tap this button, it engages a lot of shortcut, uh, or, and not necessarily shortcut, it engages these menu items down here. Think of these as extra buttons that they just didn't have enough room to cram on the face of the unit. And it goes from like A through Q. So when you select them, it's a two-step process. Just touch that to engage it and... Over here, you can go right through everything. So let's see, menu A, we have VFO A and B, A equals B, or we can run split mode. Uh, here we have memory write on the B. Here MFC is more settings. Uh, uh, we get into a lot of the FM stuff here, like repeater offset. We can tap that. You see a plus or minus and, and reverse and so on and so forth. We're not on two meters right now, so you don't see that, but that's what that's all about. Now, this menu does time out. So see if I tap that, we see menu D now, and I can go to E, F, G, and so on and so forth. But if I don't touch it for a while, it's going to go away. And then if I tune this, if I, I might think I'm running these menu items down here. No, it's, I'm going to start running frequency again. <laughs> so it's a limited thing. You need to do something within a few seconds or it's just going to revert to frequency selection on this multi-purpose knob over here. And again, as I said, if you hold it down for a second, then you go into the main settings for the radio. But uh, these are these are quite useful, these 
these uh, little menus down here. IPO, let's say we're down here at 40 meters. We want to engage that in, uh, intercept point to optimization, attenuation, uh, just all sorts of, of good stuff you can do down here. Even memories for your CW. You can put in three memories like for CQ and so on and so forth. This is a place where you'd engage like your speech processor. Uh, uh, just all sorts of settings. So if you can't sleep some night, you might want to go through those. Over here, we have the LDG Auto Tuner, which is pretty cool. Uh, all you have to do is hold the button down for a couple of seconds, release, and it'll go through its, uh, its uh, operation, and now you're tuned. If you want to disengage the tuner, just press it like that. You'll see two red lights that goes out. want to reengage it, and press it once, and there we are. So that's the basic introduction to it. Um, I hope you enjoy this rig. It's, uh, it's a great rig, and, and uh, I think you'll thoroughly enjoy it.